Jackson Getchu, better known to many as CMB Prezos, just just born into the entertainment industry, and before he became the rap godfather, the rapper was first mentored. Speaking of his past during an interview with A Star, Prezo revealed just how much he owes Kenya's love child Y Ray his success in the industry. When everyone else walked away from him and never believed he had talent as an artist, Y Ray was the only person who did, and for this, the king of bling will always show him love and give him mad respect. Ringtone is not ready for jokes nor does he want his name dragged into stories that he knows nothing about. Just a few days ago, Extendela opened up about the hypocrisy in the gospel music industry, adding that this was the reason why he quit making praise and worship songs. Among those he exposed for living a fake holier than thou lifestyle is Willie Paul and Ringtone. Anyway, having come across the interview, Ringtone has also decided to share his side of the story. According to the singer, he has never participated in partaking alcohol, but just like Jesus, he prefers spending time with sinners. Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko has his fair share of shortcomings, but he always prides himself in maintaining a happy and healthy marriage. The father, politician and husband celebrated his 21st wedding anniversary alongside his wife Prime Rose movie. Prime Rose was happy and proud that the two of them had surpassed the two decade mark and made it through hurdles and shaky times. She happily wished her hubby a happy anniversary just moments after he advised fellow men to step up and stop being a deadbeat dad. Annalisa Muigai has revealed the most challenging part of marrying a music star. According to her, there's pressure to always ensure her body is fit and in good shape. Word on the street is that the outspoken lady exchanged nuptials with Tanzanian singer Ben Paul in a private ceremony in Tanzania. In a recent video, Annalisa gave a sneak peek of her wedding ring before quickly removing her hand from the screen. The two have been together since 2018. They introduced each other to their respective families in Kenya and Tanzania and held a lavish engagement ceremony in Kenya. One of Jay-Z and Beyonce's songs, Black Effect, leans heavily on a Jamaican artist who claims she never was given proper credit or compensation despite being the leading voice on the track. Dr. Steins claims she hooked him up with dancers for a video promotion of their upcoming tour and then Jay and Bay wanted to record her views on love. She claims she was told the interview would be used in the video, quote-unquote, for promotional purposes only. She says she was shocked when she learned that Black Effect was a song she was in and because the whole first minute of the track is just her voice so she wants to get paid. President Donald Trump who previously said to fire any son of a bee who knelt for the national anthem says Colin Kaepernick should get another shot at the NFL career if he deserves it. POTUS has been adamantly against the national anthem protest since 2016 and most recently said he'd stop watching soccer and football if the demonstrations continued. Trump seems to be softening his stance on Kaepernick, at least as a quarterback, saying he should have a second chance in league if he's talented enough to compete. <laughs>